Hi, welcome to Eye Openers. I'm your host, Brittany Drozd, and each week I bring you insightful conversations with entrepreneurs that will help you make more money, become a strong leader, and build a business culture that you're proud of. Grab your coffee and let's dive in. Hi, I'm Brittany Droz, and I help entrepreneurs make more money, become strong leaders, and build a culture in their business that they're proud of. And I'm kind of, you know, sporting my, I don't know, like basketball warm-ups type shirt today, but it's making me feel like I need to deliver some like exceptional coaching here, straight to the point, just like your high school coach would do for you. Something became crystal clear for me today when I was um, talking to somebody that I'm going to have on my show, Eye Openers. We're talking a lot about hiring. You know, I spend a lot of time with entrepreneurs, with leaders, and their teams trying to figure out how do we work through challenges, how do we solve big problems, and really reduce the friction that they feel in working together. But sometimes I scratch my head and I think, how did some of these people get here in the first place? Well, one issue we often ignore when I'm brought in to help these people is where did these people come from and how did they get here? And I'm referring to hiring. At some point, all these people in your organization were hired. They were selected. They were chosen to fill this role, sit in this seat, and perform in this way. And gosh, there is nobody out there that is perfect at this hiring thing. You know why? Because we're human. In fact, a lot of studies show we're inherently bad at hiring, but there are certainly things you can do to improve upon it. Now, if we were to take this from my uh, basketball coaching type C here and think, if I had the opportunity to select a team today, how many of these players would I still choose to be on this team or even stay in that position, that role that they're in? If the answer is that you wouldn't keep all of them or keep them in those same roles, what are you doing about it? It is so, so challenging once we're emotionally attached to somebody to make those hard decisions of realizing maybe they're not the right fit for you. But in not doing so and not making that hard decision and moving forward, you are costing your organization a lot of money. You are sending the message that it's okay to not excel or, my gosh, not even be adequate at what you do. And that is so much more damaging and hard for your organization to recover from than, let's say, getting rid of somebody who now you realize is not the right fit. Here are some things that you can look at when you are growing and you're looking to hire. Does this person have the right skills for the job? Are they willing to put in the hard hours and uh, work well with the team? Are they a good fit for the organization based on our mission, our vision, our values? Now, this is just very, very basic things to look at. But even this, even that structure of skill, will, and fit can change your approach to hiring. Thanks for joining us this week on Eye Openers. Make sure to visit brittanydroz.com slash podcast for this week's show notes. And if you found value in today's episode, I would so appreciate you giving us a rating on Apple Podcasts or share it with a friend. Also, don't forget to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. This all helps to support the show.